TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch, we are live, but by the time you see this, we probably won't be, so just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Right above me, man, this is where if we go live, we'll um, put the highlights here, but I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. You could just go on Twitch and rewatch the whole stream if you want, fast forward, reverse through it, things of that nature. Don't forget we do got merch. Don't forget we do got Patreon. We post five days a week. If any of y'all confused what Patreon is, we watch stuff where we can't watch it on YouTube here. We put it here. Anyway, this is disturbing. Wait, wait. This is disturbing. My bad. Disturbing. The case will... This case will infuriate you. Okay. Talk to me. This case takes place in Russia in That's September Russia. of 2021. Yashislav Matrasov was a 34-year-old man who was known by his nickname Slava. Slava is a husband and a father. He worked in a factory to provide for his family, okay. and by all accounts he was a good man who worked hard to provide a good life for those he cared about. Whilst working at the factory, Slava made friends with a 32-year-old man by the name of Oleg. The two became rather close. Okay. They would often go out for drinks together and would socialize. Okay, so they're the bros. They're bros. Okay, 32, 34. They're both the same age. Okay, probably trying to still live out their glory years instead of gracefully, you know, going through life. All right. Slava trusted Oleg a great deal, and he ended up considering him to be his very best friend. When Slava and his wife needed someone to look after their children, Oleg would step up to help. Yo, no, see, this is where you went wrong. No, no man. I mean, I'm not asking no male outside of my little brother to watch my child. No, I don't give. I don't give. I don't. I don't care if somebody. If there was a. A uh, 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 passing if some somebody could be losing their life down the street and I could be the last resource they call. Hey, can you come help me? And if there's a male right here to watch my daughter, I'm not helping. Sorry. Oh God, just not something I'm doing. I'm not even gonna put my daughter in a situation like that. Anyway, continue. However. The trust that he had built up with Slava was for an incredibly sinister reason. He had built up the trust so he could get access to his daughter, who was, at the time, around six. From what I can tell, for a couple of years, if Slava and his wife ever needed someone to look after them, they would enlist the help of Oleg, who was always happy to help his best friend. That in September weird. of 2021, Slava and Oleg were out drinking together, and at some point during the night, Oleg fell asleep. Slava took his mobile phone and decided to see what his friend was looking at. From what I can tell, Slava found an incredibly disturbing video on Oleg's phone. He played the file to see Oleg forcing himself upon a female. Slava then made the horrifying realization that the victim in the video was his eldest daughter. Despite feeling an I'm talking about immediately. Buddy would have met God. No, he would have met the, 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 Satan. I, as soon as I would have. Oh my God. Make up, mock up, make up. What? Overwhelming sense of anger and rage, Slava gave Oleg the opportunity to do one of two things. Either Oleg do the absolute bare minimum and turn himself into the police, present the evidence, and admit to the horrific crimes, or Slava would take matters into his own hands. He told his former best friend that if he didn't choose the first option, he would kill him. Talk However, to me. Oleg had other plans. Rather than turning himself in, he <laughs> instead the country. vanished. He ran from the village and went into hiding. Furious, Slava went to the authorities, and he told them everything about what Oleg had done. After showing the authorities what he had witnessed on the phone, the police began a manhunt. 
On the day that Oleg went missing, a family member told the police that he looked as if he had been beaten up by somebody. News about the horrific crime swept the village. People in the village were disgusted at what Oleg had done, and on a number of occasions, he had looked after other people's children too. Many became- Why is this okay? Why are we- I, I'm not saying that women cannot do this crime too, but like- You know what I'm saying? Look, why? I would never. I would never, bro. Never. Never. No piece of me would ever be that thirsty to go outside. That, that, like, that irresponsible. <laughs> I'm worried that there could be more victims. And tragically, they were right. My trust don't do that. My trust is not set up like that, huh? There were many more images and videos that were found on the twisted man's phone, which indicated that this was not his first victim. In fact, it was clear that he had done this to a number of others. For around five years, he had tormented some of the young in the village and threatened them to stay quiet or else. Another victim was the daughter of his ex-girlfriend from her first marriage. For years, he had committed these crimes upon her. Oleg had entered relationships and friendships with people for this disgusting reason. The police premeditated were supposed to start the search for Oleg, but after days passed, it came out that they had not actually started looking for him yet. So Slava instead began to track him down. After a week or so, Slava was able to find him. How exactly he found him, I am unsure. How Slavic found him in a week and, and the police couldn't find him in X amount of days or whatever. What happened next is open to speculation, as some evidence suggests that Slava might not be telling the truth, and this is the point of view of Slava. He was able to track down Oleg and forced him into a secluded forest. It's here where Slava claims that he forced Oleg to dig his own grave at knife point. After digging the grave, Slava gave Oleg the option again to either turn himself into the police and face up to his crimes, or he could take his own life. On screen now, you can see the location where this occurred. It's after giving this second ultimatum that Oleg tried to rush Slava, and according to Slava, Oleg accidentally ended up stabbing himself in the stomach, resulting in him dying. Essentially, he ran into the knife a number of times. After this, Slava. <laughs> My bad. That's not. That is justice at its for art. Right. Anyway, placed Oleg in the shallow grave that he had dug and covered his body over with dirt. He then left the forest area and made his way back to the village. Let's go. It's how did he catch him? Oh snap. After some time passed, Slava made his way to the police station and handed oh, himself okay. in. He, himself he told in. the police that Oleg had stumbled upon the knife during a quarrel in a forest just outside of the village. Over a uh, he stumbled upon a knife and then over a quarrel, then I buried him in a shallow grave that he had dug for himself previously. Minutes previously. A week after Slava had first seen the video, Oleg was found dead. The story about his death became rather big news, even in other countries. Many people saw Slava as a hero, someone who stood up for his daughter and took the necessary action to stop more people becoming victims. Okay, now I do see Slava, like, he, I, I feel like he, I don't feel, I, he wasn't wrong, but I also feel like he was irresponsible as a parent for letting them, I don't care. Like I said, man, my best male friend could be like, oh man, I'll watch her. Go ahead, go to the store real quick. No. The fuck? Absolutely not. And don't ever offer again, because that's weird. I'll take her with me. Yeah. Matter of fact, get out. Get out. No, delete my number. Don't even present the opportunity to me. <laughs> like, don't even ask the question. In the future. However... Legally speaking, he had still killed someone who had not technically been found guilty of a crime, and so Slava was arrested by the police. 
The arrest of Slava resulted in public backlash. Many people in the area did not see Slava as a danger to the public and believed that he should be released at once. Family, friends, villagers, total strangers and online commenters came out in support of Slava, demanding that the father should not face a murder charge. Neighbours vouched, saying that he was oh God, a wonderful what was he supposed to do? father and a good man. A local in the village said, He is not a murderer, he protected his daughter. Everyone is on his side. Even a former presidential candidate of Russia came forward and sided with Slava. One prominent figure said, If the crime is proven by video facts, then is the girl's father wrong? Any normal parent, mother or father, would have torn apart such a criminal right on the spot. Protecting is the direct responsibility of the parents. Oleg's mother spoke to the media to address what her son had done. She told them that she couldn't understand why her son would do such a thing and told one journalist, he must have been drunk. Most likely, he was drunk. He was drunk that many times? That, there's multiple victims. When the police began looking into the case, they found some inconsistencies with a story that Slava had told them. The stab wounds inflicted upon Oleg were analyzed and experts concluded that the injury had not been sustained in the forest like Slava had claimed. The attack on Oleg had taken place in another location. Slava oh. was charged with the murder of Oleg and if he was to be found guilty and convicted of such a crime, he would likely spend a very long time in prison. Oh, yeah. This prompted swift action from many people who heard about the case. Villagers began pitching together to fund his winding legal battle, declaring every father would have done the same. Shortly, Not for sure, every father would have done the same. But at the same time, I'm gonna I'm be this guy, I'm gonna be this guy. Every father wouldn't have left their daughter in a, in a man's hand. I don't meet, I wouldn't have did it. After being jailed, awaiting to be tried for murder, the members of the public were able to help free Slava. Rather than being kept in jail, he was put on house arrest for two months pending an investigation and was made to wear an electronic so, tag so he wouldn't be able to flee. He was allowed to spend time with his family oh man, until the case went to court. This decision is incredibly rare and never before have I seen such a decision even in similar cases. As the case made its rounds on social media, many commenters began saying in jest that they believed Slava's story and that Oleg, in a freak accident, had run into the blade a number of times. The support for Slava was apparent. Yet despite all of this, legal experts who were interviewed and asked to comment on the case informed the public that no matter how much they agreed with what Slava did, the likelihood of him going to prison was incredibly high. However, in a landmark decision, the charges against Slava were changed from murder to inciting someone to take their own life. This charge carries a significantly lesser sentence than murder. It was in 2022 that the trial would commence, and in April of 2022, Slava was found guilty. He was sentenced to 18 months in a strict oh, yeah. Russian penal colony. We take them. During the trial, and even to this That's day, life. Slava has always remained adamant that the story he told the police was Bro, probably free right now, ain't he? True, Hello. and he denied. Ah, uh, is it me you're looking for? Appreciate that, uh, Nick's NLB. NLB. Killing his uh, former happy best two friend. Thank you, appreciate Although, you. despite happy the two sentence, to you. he said he was pleased that he would not face a charge of deliberately killing Oleg. Another victim's mother who attended the trial was interviewed following the verdict. She said, Of course, we understand that he could have received a far longer sentence, and 18 months is not much time. She went on to say, We really hope that he will get a presidential pardon at the end of the year. That would be a huge blessing for all of his friends and family. Some of you may be pleased to hear that Slava served just six months of the sentence after being freed a year early. Many of you may believe that six yeah. months is too long, and many were still angry that he was forced to even see the inside of a jail cell. But without- Man, they had to give him something. The judicial system had to give that man something. The judicial system doesn't go off heart and, and, and moral code. They go off law. And they let they switch the charge, so. 
Without the public standing up for Slava, it could have been a lot longer. As always, these sorts of cases do cause some division. Some people believe that vigilante justice is never the answer, no matter how heinous the crime. I live in the state of Florida. I'm, your top is gone to play with me like this. Your top is gone. <laughs> As mob justice can truly be horrific, and some innocent people have been killed. The case of Slava is one that I found to be truly heartbreaking. To see what he saw on the phone of who he believed to be his best friend is truly disgusting and disturbing, and something that no father should ever have to see. Yeah, that's weird, man. TLL, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post. Let me know what y'all think of this, this whole little whatever that just happened. I'm gone.